Hi everyone, hope everybody's doing fantastic. Um, I've been watching a few videos um, on gun stock finish. So I picked up a, a bottle of this um, Birchwood Casey's True Oil gun stock finish made in the US of A. Um, it's a 32 ounce bottle, so I think it's like a medium sized bottle. Um, and I've, I've heard good things about it. And I always see Scout Crafter and John Fix get some amazing finishes. Um, on their wood and that mine is pretty poor so I'm going to try and see what this looks like with a bit of work so I've got, I've pulled out my drawer half a dozen of these old scrapers I've picked up I've already given that one a little bit of a clean up but it could go a lot further um, um, this is the only one with a name on it um, is it hum Humphreys uh, Company Cuttle Cuttlers Sheffield or something WR with like a light thing with Bob so I'm going to give this I think you need to give it about 10 coats or something so I'm going to give it um, a, a, a tester to see what these come out like before I do anything you know extra extra nice with it so I've got these they're all in pretty rough condition you know the cheap old scrapers so I'm going to try and give this 8 or 10 coats um, so I've made this little bit of foam thingy, my Bobby, here to stick, to stick them in. Um, I think that one goes in there. Here, there. Yeah. So basically, I can keep the uh, finish nice and dry, and I'm gonna hope that this. Um... Yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna hope that in probably about 20 days time or something this will have this will improve the look and finish of these scrapers because as you can see they're not the best rusty old scrapers but the wood seems to be quite nice wood so i'll see how it comes out so this is stage one we'll see we'll see what they look like um after stage two Right guys, we're back. Um, I've given them a little bit of a sand, um, not very evenly, but I'm going to do a hand sand. I've just got most of the gunk off. I mean, this one is absolutely covered in gunk. It's come out quite nice. Um, just needs, obviously, needs a proper sand. Uh, they, it's got a brass ferrule on that one, which is quite nice. Still a little bit of muck needs to be got off. But yeah, um, give them a, a rough sand with the uh, sander and then a, a belt sanded the um, handles just to just to get I got this one extra which on the flea market so I chucked it in with the rest so I'm going to give these a um, hand sand um, and get these a little bit finer and then I'm going to start applying the coats of the true oil um, but yeah these have come out rough very rough but at least now the, the paint is off them and the handles is off so yep yeah, i will uh, give these a hand sand and then uh, start applying the uh, true oil uh, gun stock finish and then we'll see how we get how we get on all right i'll see you in a sec Guys, I'm gonna give it a go with this uh, Casey's gun gun uh, oil finish. So I think that should be uh, plenty, and then we'll see how how they come out. So what I'm planning on doing is is giving them all one coat, 
and then giving them a very light sand uh, with 320 grit or something and then give them another coat and repeat, repeat that process and see how, how, it, how they come out. So it certainly looks like it's bringing the old, uh, the grain out. So I'm gonna sand them while they're wet to try to make a bit of a slurry to uh, try to fill the pores in the wood um, in a second. So it's definitely bringing out the color anyway. So I'm gonna give them a light sand with, with the uh, Casey's True Oil and see if that actually brings out any of the color. So I'll just finish up this last one and then Or the last two. Right, so that's them all done now, guys. So they're all ready to be lightly sanded and then I'll give them another coat. So I'll see you in a sec. Right guys, um, I was initially gonna give these sort of 10 coats and keep sanding them with wire, wire wool and sanding them, but I'm just kind of happy with the deep luster and the color from two coats. I mean, um, it doesn't seem to me, obviously if it was a violin or a guitar, you might go further, but just look at the luster and the color. I mean, this, um, True Oil Gunstock Finish is really great stuff. I mean, this is just two coats, a little bit of sandpaper on the first coat, and the second coat just before, a little bit of wire wool. And look at it. It's just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So, super happy with it. Um, I don't know if the light is actually picking up the actual wood and the colour and the finish, but, I, you know, I didn't take any special precautions. So imagine if you um you know applied it properly and um give it more coats, you'd even improve the finish what it's already got. But it's silky smooth, um it's brought the wood out tremendously. I mean, obviously there's more there's more cracks what could be sanded and filled and sanded to get it absolutely perfect. But for two coats, I'd say that's a success. I don't know about you guys, so yep, Casey's true oil. Thumbs up from me, really good stuff. I can see why um, Scout Crafty uses, uses it. So yeah, super happy. Two coats um, and it's uh, transformed those uh, 50p or dollar put putty knives off the flea market. So I'll be using that again, definitely. I mean, obviously on something maybe a little bit more luxurious, maybe it would be worth going to the extra coats. But honestly, if you could feel this in the hand, it's silky smooth. So super happy with that. So yeah, brilliant. Thanks if you've got this far in the video. Um, don't forget to leave a comment. All right, bye.